G'day guys, so today on the Shed Sesh, we're getting stuck into the one tonner. I did, I did get the dash out uh, and the interior out last, last week, I haven't put that, that video up yet. There we go, so <clears throat> we're pulling the console out, pretty straightforward. Uh, you have the T-bar on there, <coughs> oh, excuse me, um, there's a little screw just in there quite often. Uh, if, you, if you yank on it, it cra they crack here, these things uh, well, last I checked years ago uh, were quite expensive from rare spares, uh, I think they all, uh, they all cracked. This is an original, I've uh, looked after this one. Although I think it might have a crack in there. Anyway, um, it's not missing the piece. Uh, undo these couple of screws here. Yeah, I need to remove that first anyway, the bottom part of the dash. Uh, we're getting there. There you go, blow by blow, I've uh, taken the lower part of the dash out. So, uh, <coughs> First of all, uh, maybe this will come in handy for someone. Pull that out enough, see that little flap there? Pull that flap down, pull out the uh, ashtray. Then you will find there are a couple of little screws here. Unscrewed. Go around to the other side. There we go. Now, generally, there's a screw here. Um, if that hasn't been snapped off, there's a little tab on the back of that, uh, on the back of the lower dash. screw there. some wires over there from the gas the gas thing there so I'll work out how, uh, how I did that and um, I'm doing happy days I'll get to the top of the dash soon there you go so now the lower part of the dash is out a couple of minutes later you can get out of with one hand Sort of clip in. You can see those, those recesses down there. Oh, yeah. Let me look at the and there we go. Two hands later. Now there is a that's the little connector for the light and the globe for to light up, <coughs> bright, um, illuminate your uh, half a twist. And you can get all those from our spares as well. So there should be a couple of screws in there as well that uh Obviously, at some point I took them out and didn't put them back in. Probably not mashed. 
Um, <coughs> there is these three, three screws here. Um, and you have to take this, uh, the armrest off so you can, because that, uh, that bracket there slides in, in there. Right. So pulling the seats out, you've got four bolts. One, well bucket seats anyway. Two, three, down there, and four. They've got captive nuts underneath, so uh, they, just, they just bolt straight through. What you find if you're pulling out um, bench seats is these holes will have uh, like seam sealer or something in them. So when I pulled when I pulled the bench seat out of this, I'm like, oh, there's no no holes uh, until I uh, dug around and right here and here there was some uh, seam sealer. So. Good on you, Holden. Uh, what you'll also find as well, if you're putting in a, a center console, is obviously those won't be there with the bench seat. So I ground them out of the, um, there's a there's a bracket, that bracket there, and there's this bracket here. I ground them out of the, the donor car that uh, smashed up and uh, welded them on so I could install the uh, center console. All right, let's keep going. Undo the uh, seat belts and get the other seat out. Also, what you'll find just with removing the seats is that they'll be a bit harder um, to get to the the back, the back ones, the back bolts. You'll uh, you'll have to push the seat forward and push them back to get to the uh, to get the back the back uh, sorry the front bolts a little bit easier. So, just a uh, quick tip. Seems a bit frustrating until you uh, realise that, uh, or you remember that uh, everything goes forwards and backwards. Check that out. Oh. So this is where you find out how rich you are. Two bucks richer, and a dead cockroach, nice one. So, seats are out. Keep moving. There you go, so it's pouring outside. It's uh, got the carpet out. Oh, this is the... Uh, the underlay, and it looks like where the carpet was was falling, where the underlay was. She got a bit uh, damp, maybe. Yeah, those, those floors were almost perfect when I, uh, I actually welded in some, uh, some new panels uh, years ago. I don't know if we're falling, but it's like the underlay. I have done it in. Well, that's disappointing. Well, I've got to say, I'm a little bit annoyed about that. So I, um, I did do a patch panel. I did the whole bloody lot, you know, back before I uh, knew much of anything. And um, it may, it may sand up all right, actually, but um, with a bit of KBS over the top, 
that side's not as bad. But uh, I mean, it was definitely painted, and then I had the um, had the uh, the underlay, and I think the underlay's just trapped all the moisture in there. And uh, so again, hopefully, it's just the uh, it just it's it's sort of deep surface rust, I think. But we'll uh, we'll see how we go. There we go. So I just had a a bad feeling. Let's see if we can see it. Oh, there we go. Where is it? There it is. That's where the water's coming from. Not overly bad, but not the best nonetheless. Okay, so now we'll take out the uh, the dash. Um, <clears throat> Pretty easy, there's a couple of tricky bits. Uh, you will find that this headlight switch, uh, there's a little button right around the back there, you push and then that'll pop straight out. Uh, and then you have to rotate, rotate that around because that holds the dash in as well. There's a screw there, a screw there, a screw, well, and a few screws up in the, up in the top. Pretty easy. Um, I think I'm a couple down here. So not uh, not too hard. And then you can just sort of pull it forward and then pull it up out of the uh, out of the from the steering column. Um, there will uh, the steering column will be coming out uh, at some point soon. I actually have a new old stock, one of those. What are we going on? Now we've got the, uh, so the dash face is off. Now it's the uh, dash, I don't know what to call it, behind. But um, it's pretty much the bones of the dash. So anyway, <clears throat> so there's a, a bolt up there. Go get this bolt off here. Um, Got to take that one off. And there's one up under here. And one up under there. So, uh, looks like, obviously with all the uh, the cables and everything joined to a lot of this, um, I'm gonna have to try to get uh, get to those or take all these these out anyway. I mean, these a look at rebuilding or something. You can see the screws are rusty and and stuff like that. So anyway, we'll see how we go. See what we're going to do with the dash. There's one of the cables. Up through there, around the back. Use the shambles. Find where those other one cables go. That red wire is the door, passenger door switch. So, <clears throat> this one here, which was up there, runs down behind those tubes, down into there. Happy days. That that looks like it's the other the other tube the other. So there you go. Um, I've spent the day from about ten thirty. I'll turn around. Pretty much everything's out. I'm gonna take the shifter column out. We're gonna disconnect that up under the. Uh, and the engine bay, pedals, you take the roof lining out. Um, but other than that, it's pretty much done. Another the heater box, obviously you gotta do that from this side. But uh, it's, the radiator's still full, so I'll get something so I don't end up with bloody water all over the joint. 
have to say, I look like I've bloody done a few rounds. Friggin, I don't know how uh, some of you YouTube uh, presenters stay like you've uh, you've just got out of the shower. <laughs> but um, still, the rust. Oh, there's not a lot of not a lot in in a lot of the spaces. Um, I think I did fix up little bits and pieces of this. That's why it's black. Uh, years ago. Um, brought you along here as well. Um, so everything, all of this will get stripped back. Um, I don't think I touched any of this and, and a lot of this looks bloody almost friggin' brand new. So it's, um, she's held up all right. Bit of rust up in the, uh, the gutter, but that's the only rust in the roof that I can see. Um, you know, other than the, let's call it patina. Um, gutters seem okay. Obviously, rust, uh, rust along here. Um, and there's, yeah, there's definitely up under here. Uh, if we can turn on some lights. Definitely rust around there. So, looks like, what do you call that? The plenum. I'll be, uh, I'll be redoing something there. Is that shagged? But so that'll be why the floor's almost rooted. Um, just the rust around there. Yeah. This side doesn't look too bad. Oh, I don't think. Kind of a bit weird that uh, that this is just. I mean, this thing's been sitting around for years. And it's just bloody shiny metal. But, um... Right, uh, uh, so it's not as bad, but still pretty, uh... Looks like stuff's been coming through. When I, when I first bought this, this, this tube was blocked. And, um... <laughs> first corner I went around, all the water came pouring like this thing was the the plenum was full of bloody water and uh, just drenched me feet so um uh, so not as good as i was hoping for but uh you know pretty standard of the old girls i'll uh, just get stuck in it just get stuck in it uh hopefully next weekend or the next free weekend anyway i'll uh I'll get the engine out, um, the front off, that's, uh, you know, the, the heater and everything out. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking if, if I can get another full day um, on this, she'll be, uh, she'll be completely stripped and I'll be uh, trying to work out how to get the cab off. So um, a couple of boys out there uh, assure me it's not that heavy, but... Uh, can't, I can't really um, get a hoist going or anything off from the uh, from the roof. It's uh, it's not the strongest shed in the world. Um, so yeah. Well, thanks heaps for watching, guys. Um, between SD cards filling up, batteries going flat, and all the bits and pieces. Uh, hopefully I've actually got some uh, some footage for you. Uh, I'll try to uh, try to speed it up. You don't need uh, five hours of uh, me struggling to get up and down and uh, pulling stuff apart. Uh, I tried to put a bit more detail into taking the dash apart. I know you know a lot of people struggle with the uh, yeah, especially the headlight switch and and that type of thing. So. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll uh, we'll keep cracking next week. Uh, with any luck, I'll have this out during this week, and we'll um, like and subscribe. I'll put the uh, the prelude, subscribe, whatever. However, these these bloody uh, pop ups work. Anyway, guys, love your work. Get in the shed.